crowdfunding campaign has been launched to assist some medical interns at Chris Hani Baragwanath Hospital. Now, it's understood they've not been paid salaries since January of this year, according to the Gauteng Health Department. This is as a result of the intern doctors not appearing on the payroll. However, it's committed to paying salaries by next week. The South African Medical uh, Association's Vice Chair, Dr. Mvusi Mzukwa, Mvuyisi Mzukwa, pardon me, uh, it joins us now for more on the story. Dr. Mzukwa, uh, it's great to have you with us on the program. And uh, thank you very much for your patience in waiting to talk to us. We do appreciate that. Uh, doctor, it, it's no overstating just how incredibly unacceptable this is. Good morning, Michelle, and good morning to your, list, to your viewers. Uh, just a small correction there, uh, Michelle. I'm now the, the, the national chairperson of SAMA. Oh, my um, apologies, doctor. Uh, okay. No, um, we have received uh, this disturbing news that about eight uh, medical interns uh, have not been paid since uh, January this year. And uh, as you correctly put it, um, they were then uh, subjected to a humiliation by the Department of Health, Houden, um, making them um, suffer, uh, you know, not having anything to do um, no food mm. uh, and, and other amenities, um, you know, uh, driven into depression by, by, by the Department of Health. And colleagues around there had to put uh, heads together to help the interns. And we find that very disturbing coming from an employer and especially government. No, certainly. Uh, in fact, some articles have spoken to some of these medical interns at Chris Pani Baragwanath. They didn't want to be named for obvious reasons, but describing to journalists how they had to borrow money from friends, how uh, this one person says uh, she's been starving, she doesn't even have food, her landlord is now breathing down her neck. I, I mean, you know, in a context where the Houting Health Department is launching programs to deal with the mental health of doctors in the wake of the pandemic, perhaps we should start with paying their salaries. That's very true, uh, Michelle. I mean, it's really uh, uh, very disturbing. I mean, look at this. You, you have these uh, interns who must go out there and provide quality uh, consultations. How do you do that when you are in the backdrop of what you have just, just described now? Mm -hmm. But on top of that, you are pushing these interns into depression because, I mean, uh, if you're frustrating them like you do in terms of their finances, they, they, they can't pay their rents. Uh, they are coming from poor backgrounds, some of them. They have no support system financially. And now they have to find themselves uh, uh, living like beggars, you know, in a hospital, employed with qualification, but find themselves wondering where they, they're going to get their food. Uh, I mean, they, 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 beca they begin to, to be charity cases, doctors becoming charity mm -hmm. cases who are employed by, 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 by the state. Yeah, uh, absolutely. The health department for its part saying that it's now committing to paying those salaries by next week. Several uh, explanations given about how this unfolded. Uh, they say more interns were allocated to certain hospitals than the posts that were available. This apparently creating a delay um, in, in these payments being made because apparently government has to create a post on an electronic system before that payroll uh, can, can be created. Long explanation as for what should have been a simple issue. Don't be saying there should, there should be a, a plan B. Yeah. I mean, yeah. if you are going to delay a, a, a payment for a, such a long time, yeah. what is, is in place? You know, in the, interns have gone out of school. They are now at the hands of the state. They are not in the university anymore. Mm. I mean, the state has to take care of its employees. You can't pay a lip service to uh, 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 this uh, uh, taking care of interns in terms of their mental health and everything else. Mm -hmm. But when you know you are needed, you can't even provide you know basic stuff like uh, 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 making sure they have got accommodation, they've got food, you know, they can live their lives. I mean, basic stuff that should be provided by by the state. Instead, you're folding your hands and say, no, we are going to wait until. I mean, really, what do you do in the in the meantime? Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, certainly, to your point, if it's an issue that's two months old, more than two months old, 
you know, once you've identified the problem, why does it take that many weeks to organize? Uh, Dr. Mzuko, before we let you go, the Gauteng Department of Health, what does this say about the department, which itself is very far from a clean bill of health? Well, what we are experiencing now, and not only in Gauteng, but in all provinces, we are experiencing uh, an employer that does not care, but, you know, would go out in the media, pay lip service and say, uh, healthcare workers are heroes, health healthcare workers are this. I mean, when you come to, you know, providing the needs of healthcare workers, the state is not there. I mean, this, 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 these healthcare workers have been out there fighting at the forefront of, of, of the pandemic. But when we have to attend to their needs, um, the state is nowhere to be found. Uh, we, we are facing a state of health that is collapsing, and uh, that is uh, 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 going down, as you can see. It's not only the, that problem. There's also the issue of Charlotte Matrage that is going down. I mean, what kind of a state is this that can allow state institutions to go down and all the health, healthcare workers to suffer like they do, they don't get paid. What state is this? Absolutely devastating and heartbreaking. How disgusting is it that a crowdfunding campaign has now been created to help these medical interns pay for amenities like the roof over their head, like some food on the table. We understand, Dr. Mzukwa, that also doctors at Chris Hani Baraguana, they're coming to the party to try and fill in some of those gaps. Well, I, I, I want to really acknowledge and appreciate uh, colleagues at the Chris Baragwanet Hospital who have come out and said, we cannot allow our colleagues to be abused by the system, especially at their young age. You know, they have bad experience of, of what is to be employed. When, when, when they just got in employment and they can't get paid and they are made to suffer, but expected, by the way, to still go out there and smile to patients and, and be everything to patients. And, and never, never be uh, frustrated in front of mm, patients. Mm. And be professional, by the way. So, so that, those are the uh, frustrations that are faced by these interns. But thanks to the senior colleagues there, who have identified the gap, and they've uh, come closer to them, and they are assisting them. Certainly. Well, let's hope this is resolved. Strong words there from the national chairperson of the SA Medical Association. Congratulations on your appointment, Dr. Mvuisi Mzukwa.